Now, what I tend to do is get a little spot just over there, not too far away from the bar. But no, 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 no. Sun is too direct there. Do you want to die of skin cancer? Is that what you want to do? Well, not really. I tend to use a high factor cream. Plus, I don't really. No, no. This way. Come on, this way. Oh, hello. Your other friend not with you? No, he's had to go. Come on. Oh, you know all the movers and shakers, don't you? That's Noreen. She usually comes on holiday with her son, but he's obviously grown out of all that. How old was he? About 46. Well, it looks like Noreen's found herself a rather forceful young lady friend. It must be her daughter. Yeah, right. Have you never seen the killing of Sister George? Come the end of this holiday, them two will be dressing like Laurel and Hardy and smoking cigars. You texting Troy? Yes. Funny, isn't it? He's sitting by his father's deathbed and you're on holiday slapping on the Factor 20 and knocking back the sangrias. What do you mean by that? I don't mean anything by it. The only reason I agreed to proceed with this holiday is because I don't know Troy's father. I would just be in the way. Yeah, absolutely. Troy hardly knows his father. It's a very difficult situation. I hear you, sister. And if I may remind you, the only reason you are on this holiday is because Troy was generous enough to let you take his place. Oh, he was. Hola. New menus. Oh, ta. Just about due a nose bag. Thank you. What is nose bag? What they put on a horse when he has his dinner. Ah, like bag with food for the horse. That's right. A nose bag. <laughs> like this. <laughs> See anything you like? Oh, yes. He means on the menu. Oh, right. Um, I'll have the steak, please. Very rare. Just a faint pulse. And for you? There's absolutely nothing I can have. It's on a diet. Green salad with dressing on the side. So that's a rare steak for one hungry horse and dry salad for one starving cow. Gracias. De nada. Oof. I think he needs one of my special back rubs. You're probably the only breathing thing here he hasn't been with. What, even you? Ugh, certainly not. Just about everyone else, though. Oh, I'm not bothered. When it comes to sloppy seconds, I don't mind bringing up the rear. Sorry, love. These sunbeds belong to someone. I think we've got somebody's sunbeds. Hello, love. I'm sorry. Are these yours? There are no towels here. These are free. I just told you they're not free. Why, what do you think you're doing? I've just said these are our sunbeds. Come on, let's have you. Did you just touch me? Did you just touch me? What's wrong with her? No, I never went anywhere near you. I just want our sunbeds back. Come on. Right. No. 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 I'm not giving it to you. I'm not giving it to you. What's going on? I'm not giving it to her. So this Leslie Les thing, why do you do it? I've never really thought about it. <laughs> Are you two different people? Well, kind of. It's hard explain. I mean, you are not like a vampire or werewolf. When do you change? Do you still have your uh, pee pee? Yes? All right, dumb and dumb, let's get the bar cleaned up. Hey, I've done all the mixes this morning. I've cleaned up the drinks machine and I've topped up all the spirits. And what have you done? Don't worry, I know. Buffed your nails, done your hair, flicked through a copy of American Vogue. Yeah. Honestly, sometimes it's difficult to tell which one's on the change. <laughs> Why'd you do all these things and make me look bad, huh? If a pattern emerges, look to yourself. I don't know what that means. Look, if I look after my side of things and you look after yours, everybody will get on chucking you. Really? That's what you think.
One large honky tonk and one regular witch's tit. Lovely. Thank you, Leslie. How are the new cocktails going down? Oh, chappy, man. Chappy, the kids gonna get enough of them. I think it's the funny names that they like, you know. <laughs> I'll see you later. Oh, hello. Are these seats free? Absolutely. Grab some plastic. <laughs> it's Don, isn't it? Donald and Jacqueline. You remember Nolan? Mm -hmm. Hello again. Hello. This is my daughter, Pauline. Uh, great to meet you. It's very hot. Oh, you've hit the high season all right. Do what we do. Drink plenty of liquids and sleep in the nude. Mm -hmm. I don't think I shall be sleeping in the nude. I've seen the bedding. Oh, you sound foreign. Pauline lived in South Africa for ten years. Now she's in Dubai, we're having this holiday to catch up before she moves back properly to the UK. Oh, lovely. Do you like it here? Eh? Not really what I've seen of it so far. We asked for a low-level apartment. They've put us on the 11th floor. Well, they say, we're on the top floor, and I have no head for heights. Plus, Donald sleepwalks as well. We had a siesta yesterday afternoon, and he stumbled out onto the balcony, still asleep, climbed over it, and sat right on the edge. He was swinging backwards and forwards, and you could see people down below, terrified he was going to toss himself off. We could have a walk into Benidorm if you wanted. I think that's a good idea. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. Handsome woman. Oh, yes. Right, we've got work to do. Oh, yeah. What are they doing? Yeah, no. Oh. It doesn't bear thinking about. And make sure you don't ask them either. If you show the remotest interest in them, next thing you'll know, you'll be dangling upside down from a crucifix wearing a rubber corset. Wouldn't be the first time. Rick, who's the Virgin Mary? That'll be me. And you must be the angry dwarf. I ordered it for you. It's supposed to be quite nice. So you boys enjoying your holiday? I've been before, so it's not so much enjoying, more tolerating. Hey, you look good a better all-inclusive than this, you know. Plus, we've got the best pool in Benidorm. He's only joking. This is his fourth time. You must be doing something right. But you're new here. Oh, aye. Aye, it's me first week. They decided it was time for a bit of fresh meat. Any cheesy nibbles for you? Oh, not for me, thanks. Gavin, would you like to try Leslie's cheesy nibbles? Oddly enough, no. Gavin's on a diet. Oh, I know what you mean. I used to struggle with my weight. Used to? But for some reason, when I hit 40 last year, <laughs> the weight just fell off. And ever since then, I've been lucky enough to maintain my schoolgirl figure. Isn't that one of those schoolgirl figures Jamie Oliver keeps campaigning against? <laughs> Top form. <laughs> right, ma'am, let's be having you. What do I want to go to a water park for? Oh, you know you want to. I just see you coming down one of them big slides on your scooter. I thought we agreed we were all going. Well, I've changed my mind. Oh. Well, all right, we'll go later in the week. Oh, Nana, please, please, please. I really wanted to go today. To be honest, I just want to spend a bit of time on my own. Bit of time on your own? You've been here on your tops for the past six months. And that's how I like it. You go. Well, give me a chance to get a few bits from the indoor market. Well, we'll only be a couple of hours. See you later, ma'am. Nana, I've got the money I saved up for me holidays. But it's all inclusive, so I don't really need it. Oh, I don't want your money, darling. You go and enjoy yourself, you... Jesus, how much is that? It's about 200 euros. Tell you what, you give me that to look after, and if I see anything nice, I'll get it for you. All right. See you there. Another coffee, Mrs. Yitch? No. I'm off to get my hair done. <laughs> Hold your 
roses. Your mother wants a lolly. Do you not want an ice cream, Michael? I'm not bothered. I just want to get in. Yeah, well, you can only go in with a responsible adult. Oh, don't say that. I wanted to go in with my dad. <laughs> well, hey, he's learning. <laughs> oh, come on, what's the hold up? All the lollies will be out of date by the time we get to the front. No. Look at the one I'm pointing to. That is not mint choc chip. What you're showing me is mint choc chip. Why don't you have another one of them slush drinks? I don't want another slush drink. The last one gave me brain freeze. Oh, like Walt Disney. What? Didn't he have his brain frozen in case they found out how to bring people back to life? I don't know what you're talking about. Excuse me, there's people back here spitting feathers. Oh, it's you. I might have guessed. She's just using an ice cream. This is a cube. I'm at the front of it. You're at the back of it. Deal with it. Bloody hell, did she keep the receipt from the charm school? The more you're breathing down my neck, the longer it's going to take me to decide. You do understand that, don't you? She doesn't want a slush because it freezes her brain. And you not get one that freezes her gob? Oh, come on. Not bothered about a lolly. We'll get one later. Oh, hello. Why don't we get you a lolly when we get ours? Because the park shuts at seven, and the way she's pissing about will still be stood here. Do you mind? I don't take kindly to that kind of language. Hey, go, man. Hey, where'd you get them? There's another shop around the corner. It's no queue. Uh, Wait! What, what are you doing? Get, get can. See you later. Mm. Hola. Hello, hello. <clears throat> All right for a drink, thank you. I'm sorry to hear about your husband. He was a good man. Yes, he was a good man. I remembered your wedding on the beach. Beautiful day. Yeah. When the fat man drop kicked him from the parachute, I thought it was all over for St. Joe Harvey then. No. He was made of stern stuff. Mm. Do you remember the morning he nearly drowned in the pool? I think this was the day before he was almost killed by an electric juicer. He had his scrapes, I'll give you that. And the time he was nearly barbecued when his mobility shop burned to the ground. All right. Just fuck off now. I was just, how do you say, reminiscing. Really? Well, if you don't frig off, people around here will be reminiscing about that waiter who got run over by an electric scooter. <laughs> <laughs>